only is going to be a right angle. If we want to measure and know for sure, one tool we can use is an angle ruler. In order to measure with an angle ruler, there's a rivet in the middle. This rivet needs to line up with the vertex on my angle. If I move the two legs of the angle ruler, I can see that there's a blue line going along each leg. This is where my rays are going to line up. So I'm going to line up my rivet at my vertex. I'm going to line up my blue line with my bottom ray. And now I can swing the top arm around until it crosses with my other ray. When I do that, I can then look on the dial to see where it crosses at. We can see, even though it's small, that it crosses at 90 degrees. So we know for sure this is a 90 degree angle. From looking at this angle, we can see that it's an acute angle, so it's going to be less than 90 degrees. To find out exactly what it's worth, again, we can measure it with our angle ruler. We're again going to line up the vertex with the rivet, the bottom ray along this blue line, and then swing our top arm around until it crosses with the other ray. When we do that, we can see that this angle crosses at 60 degrees, so we know we have a 60 degree angle. From looking at this angle, we can tell it's an obtuse angle, so we know it's going to be between 90 and 180 degrees. When we go to line up our angle ruler, though, we can see if I line it up at the vertex, this ray and that ray don't line up with my leg. So now we have a couple choices. I can rotate my angle ruler so it lines up along the right leg and then swing the top arm around until it crosses. Now, we can see it crosses between 135 and 150. Each mark is labeled at every 15 degrees. Since there's two marks in between, we know each of those is worth 5 degrees. So here's 135, 140, so this angle crosses at 145 degrees. Now, if you didn't like having to turn your angle ruler, your other option is to simply rotate your paper so that your bottom ray faces the correct direction. When you do, line up your vertex like always, and swing it around, and sure enough, we still come out at 145 degrees. Looking at this angle, we can tell by the way it's labeled that it's a reflex angle. This means it's going to be between 180 and 360 degrees. An advantage to using an angle ruler is that it measures all the way up to 360 degrees. In order to measure this angle, we're going to line up along our ray that points more towards the bottom. I'm going to line that up, and when I swing my top arm, it's going to follow this outside curve. When I do, I can see it swings all the way to 300 degrees. So this is a 300 degree angle. Now, the good news is if you line it up wrong, your angle is going to measure 60 degrees. So from that point, if you know this side angle is 60 degrees, we can simply subtract from 360 degrees to find that that angle is still worth 300. Today we're going to look at using an angle ruler to create angles with. We're going to start by drawing a 90 degree angle. In order to draw with an angle ruler, I need to first off make sure that it's facing up so that I can read the words on it. Then I'm simply going to rotate my top leg. As I do, I can see my degrees increasing on the dial. So I'm going to keep turning until my 90 degrees lines up with the blue line on my bottom leg. Now my angle ruler is showing me a 90 degree angle. So to simply draw the angle, I can just hold it in place and trace on the inside of both legs. When I do, I can add my little box in the corner to show that it's a 90 degree angle and I have my angle. Now we can use our angle ruler to create a 50 degree acute angle. When I start to turn my dial, I notice that 15, 30, and 45 are labeled but not 50. In between 45 and 60, there are two dashes. Since that's a total range of 15 degrees, I know each of those dashes is worth 5 degrees. So 50 must be the first dash past 45. Now that I have my angle ruler set at 50 degrees, I can simply trace the inside of my angle and label it to show I measured the acute angle of 50 degrees. To draw a 135 degree obtuse angle, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open our top leg and keep rotating until we hit 135. So again, we can simply hold our angle ruler down and trace along the inside and label it to show we measured the 135 degrees 
for the obtuse angle. We need to draw a 250 degree reflex angle. An advantage of an angle ruler is that it measures all the way up to 360 degrees, so we can simply keep turning until we hit that 250 degrees. As I turn the arm, I can see my degrees increasing. We go past 120, going past 180, coming up on 240, so that first mark is 245, that second mark is 250. So here's my 250 degree angle that I can trace. Now, since we want this to be a reflex angle, we need to make sure we label it to show people that we traced this path here on the outside. That's how we communicate that we are measuring the reflex angle, not the interior angle. So this is our 250 degree reflex angle. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.